Hey everyone, welcome to VEDA Day 31, the final day of VEDA. How are you guys doing in the VENA Nation today? One of my favorite authors here on YouTube, Kristen Martin, just recently did a book tag video called Writing Rituals Tag. Um, if you guys want to see that video, I'll leave the link down below and you can see where she originally got it from. Um, but I wanted to do this video uh, as a special way of ending VEDA. Um, with all the news surrounding my uh, book release coming up, I Was an Evil Teenager Remastered, pre-order links down below. <laughs> um, I wanted to do this kind of writing related tag and to kind of give you guys more insight into my writing process. So without further ado, here is the writing rituals tag. Question one, when do you write? I usually like to write um, at night, Pref prefer, I prefer that, I should say. Um, I know a lot of people are early risers and like to work during the day, but um, I am disabled, as you guys know, and sick. Uh, I suffer from insomnia because of the pain I'm in, and I take medication that kind of knocks me out. Um, so the best time for me to write is actually at night, when everyone has gone to sleep, the world is kind of quieted down around you. I'm much more of a night owl. I can just put my music on and just zone out writing. Um, that's the best time for me to write. Question two, how do you seclude yourself from the outside world? Well, that's really easy um, because it kind of goes back to question number one. I work at night and the whole world around me kind of quiets down. Um, I put my phone on vibrate or mute uh, so that I'm not kind of barrage, getting a constant barrage of notifications. I uh, put my music up and you know my animals are sleeping at that point. Um, all Everything I, I need to have get done gets done during the day uh, whether it's you know cleaning the house, um, taking care of the animals, um, working, my day job, uh, all that stuff is done during the day. And so when nighttime comes, uh, it's just me time and it's my time to write. So everything around the, me kind of just quiets down and it's just me and my writing. Question three, how do you review what you wrote the previous day? Well, I keep a notepad open while I'm writing and any important developments with characters or the plot I write down on my notepad and uh, that way I don't have to keep going back and forth and messing up my flow pretty much when I'm writing. Every writer is different and that's just the same for all these questions. Every writer has their own technique or their own way of doing things. Uh, but me, I keep you know really detailed notes on the important things I need to know for the story going forward. That way I don't lose track and I have it in case the book I'm writing is part of a series and I need to know it for the next book going forward. So I always keep notes and uh, write everything down. Question four, what song is your go-to when you're feeling uninspired? That's actually a really good question. Um, music is a huge part of my writing process. Music is my biggest source of constant inspiration as I'm writing. Um, as far as my go-to song, there are several songs. Um, there's one artist in particular lately that I've really enjoyed and that's Jeremy Jordan. Um, you guys might know him as, uh, um, Winslow Shot, that's his name, Win, on the CW Supergirl. Uh, he was also on one of my favorite series that got canceled, Smash, for, on NBC. Uh, I love that show. He was amazing in it. Um, but he's been in a lot. He was also in the movie called The Last Five Years with Anna Kendrick. Um, a great Broadway musical star, um, but he has several songs that really uh, serve to inspire me and to, to get me motivated. Uh, he actually played a writer in the last five years. Uh, the song um, that probably inspires me the most right now of his would be, it's close, it's between Broadway Here I Come from the show Smash or um, what is that song? Um, Moving Too Fast by, um, from the last five years soundtrack. Both those songs are inspiring. Um, they talk about, you know, pursuing your dreams and, uh, beware, being aware of the pitfalls of success and fame. 
Um, but the way he sings it and the passion in which he delivers these songs um, kind of serves as an inspiration for me when I'm looking into character insight and uh, always gets me motivated. So that's the song I listen to. Question five, what do you always do when you're struggling with writer's block? Well, um, when I'm dealing with writer's block, I think it's very um, almost painful to sit there beating yourself up because you are having writer's block. It doesn't serve you to just sit there and stare at the page all day. So uh, take a deep breath, step back from the desk, from your, your writing, and for me, um, I like to listen to music, <laughs> like I told you guys, but I also like to uh, spend time with family, uh, have conversations that may strike up some inspiration for me, um, you know, because I get a lot of inspiration just from daily conversations. So many stories I've written um, come from that. Uh, I Was a Teenage Killer, which is the first book from my Evil Teenager series that is now being remastered. Um, stem from a conversation uh, I had with my mother after uh, we had watched this like serial killer murder show kind of thing um, and we were talking about you know motivations for the people who go to that extreme and all that um, and we were kind of talking about movies always making serial killers these like big hulking outsiders that are disfigured or have been wronged by society or something um, and I wanted to challenge that that stereotype um, and that all stemmed from a conversation so a good conversation can go a long way uh, I also enjoy video games um, because I love television and movies and stuff and they're great inspiration as well but I think you get so much more world building out of a video game uh, you really see the intricacy that these characters are brought together, um, the stories that are being told. It's just uh, a really great way of, uh, you know, analyzing how to build the world you're trying to build. So those are kind of some of the things I do to uh, kind of fight off writer's blog. Question six, what tools do you use when writing? Mainly I use Word. <laughs> I know a lot of people like to use Scrivener. Uh, but I've always used um, Microsoft Word. Uh, it served me well. I also use uh, Notepad uh, to keep comprehensive notes. You know, I'll use, you know, dictionary and thesaurus, a thesaurus uh, when I'm working. Um, but really, it's, Word is my biggest uh, tool that I use. Question seven. What is the one thing you can't live without during a writing session? Well... Besides a good bottle of water or a glass of water or whatever you prefer, the thing I can't live without is music. Um, I definitely need music when I'm writing. It helps to drown out the rest of the world when I'm working and it helps inspire me. It's my biggest source of writing fuel besides, you know, water or coffee or something. Um, so that's the one thing I can't live without for sure when I'm writing is uh, music. Question eight, how do you fuel yourself during your writing sessions? Well, again, uh, music uh, is my writing inspiration fuel. Uh, also water and coffee. Um, I'll also get those uh, really healthy Quest nutrition bars. They're gluten-free and uh, low in carbs and sugars and all that. So um, I like to get some of those to uh, you know, satisfy any um, hunger cravings I have, and um, they're a healthy alternative, so I like to use those, and uh, those are usually the things I use to fuel myself. Question number nine, final question. How do you know when you're done writing? Uh, that's really a personal question as far as, you know, there's not a definitive answer. Um, for me, um, it's when the, the inspiration kind of stops and the final word uh, kind of feels final to you. Um, you know, that's why I keep a notepad because I like to get all my ideas out and know what direction I want to take things in. That way, um, once I have all the things I thought of done, 
I can take a broad look at the story and determine, okay, is this the full story? Is this everything you needed to tell? And if it looks like it, yeah, go for it. If there's something you missed or you think of something that could actually make the story better, go for it and keep writing. But um, really it's uh, your own personal um, you know, decision. Uh, it's really about what feels best to you as a writer. Well, there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed today's final VEDA vlog and this tag. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I tag all of you guys to participate. Um, if friends like uh, Tamara Woods um, are watching this video and want to participate, tag me in your video and uh, I'll be happy to watch it and share it with my, my you guys on Avena Nation. Um, you know, but everyone is free to participate any budding writers or authors watching my videos right now this is definitely a great tag to participate in because it helps you really think about um your own writing process and what you're doing so uh, make sure if you guys watch this video and want to start getting into youtube participate make this video and tag me and i'll be happy to share it and uh yeah thanks for hanging in with me today guys you guys can find the questions down below along with my social media links where you can tag me and follow me um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that fun stuff. Um, also, my pre-order link for I Was a Teenage, or I Was an Evil Teenager Remastered, the three novella series, is available now on Amazon. It's only $2.99. I'll have that link is down below. It's gonna be available in iBooks and Barnes and Noble very soon. Um, but yeah, you can check all those out. You can also follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my email newsletter there. That way you get a free short story and you get up-to-date news on my writing, on my YouTube channel, all that fun stuff. And it's free, so you can sign up for that there. And you can also um, get check out my Wattpad page where you can read some of my stories for free. And yeah, that's everything, guys. Thank you for tuning in and hanging with me during beta this year. A very successful beta. Uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to go back to uh, maybe once or twice a week. Um, I just found out through my analytics that uh, Mondays and Fridays at 4 a.m. is the time of night you guys love to watch my videos. At least 4 a.m. Pacific time for me. Um, that tells me a lot of you guys are in the UK and it really um, means a lot to me that you guys in the UK are watching and uh, hanging with me. Um, but yeah, everyone who watches this video and who's been watching Veda this year, thank you for being a part of the Vena Nation. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, remember, I mean the Nation, keep hashtag hope alive. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Long days and pleasant nights.